What's up, people? Uh, Mike here. And this is Infamous Second Son. Uh, expert difficulty with good karma. <clears throat> this is the Smoke and Mirrors mission. Um, this mission and the way Quid Pro Quo ends is that uh, you don't get the mission complete uh, little screen that you've normally gotten during every mission. It kind of that mission ends in a cutscene and then you just kind of start in in uh, the Smoke and Mirrors mission. So it would it's kind of weird that they put you in two different missions, but they don't give you the uh, the end mission screen like they normally do. Um, during all the the previous missions have so if you play through this like for the first time and you start quid pro quo and then you get to the end of this part and you get a different mission completed sign you're like wait a minute what the fuck so I, it's I don't know I never understood the the way they did that so but when you get out here you get sworn by a fuck ton of enemies but, um, like you do normally with smoke, uh, you just use the, uh, the, the smoke cloud or whatever, I, f I forget the exact name of that power, the smoke grenade to, uh, get those subdues so you can get the chromatic streak going and you can easily take out pretty much all the guys there except for maybe these two guys I guess because they were high enough where the the radius of the attack doesn't hit them I'm not really sure but once you uh, beat all of them you basically do uh, the tracking thing with your phone when you get to this point you get jumped by a couple of those uh, brute cro uh, concrete enemies you can just run away from them like you don't have to fight them um, it I'm not sure how long you need to stay in the area before um, I don't know if you can go there and immediately run away or if you need to wait for those those brutes to show up but once once they do show up you can just run away I didn't realize that you could do that um, so I'm trying to get prepared to actually fight them and uh, at a certain point while I'm fighting them I actually run far enough away from the initial location where I get the dialogue that I need to track Hank again even though I'm still fighting uh, the brutes so um, if you want the challenge you can stay and fight these guys but Really, you don't need to. You can just, um, just run. I think it's like at least like two or three buildings away from the the initial spawn point. I guess you can call it, and it should, um, it should kick in the dialogue that uh, it's like shit. I lost Hank, and you get the uh, get higher up so you can track his location. But for the for the most part, I I do actually put in somewhat of an effort of trying to fight these guys. But once I notice the no signal up on top, I'm like, oh, okay, I don't need to fight them anymore, so I just run away. Um, and so once you get high enough and track its location um, I cut out all the travel just because it's going from point A to point B really um, when you get up to the top of this building um, try and have all your uh, missiles not necessarily for these guys but for the helicopters that show up um, I believe it's one it might be two I can't remember but I think I think you can use the the helicopter's missiles to do
do damage to these guys. I believe that the missiles do injure uh, the soldiers. I'm not 100% positive, but I'm fairly certain that um, friendly fire works between uh, the, the, the helicopter missiles and the other soldiers, but I could be wrong. <clears throat> um, having the the video works out better for this, um, mostly because being that they're the way the missiles work is that it locks on to the initial shot. So the way these helicopters kind of go behind the little window covers uh, makes um, destroying the helicopters somewhat easier. Uh, there is a video monitor, I think it's like behind where I'm standing now, where I could have, uh, I could have used, but, um, I made it work with the, the neon power. <clears throat> and then, I could have cut this part out, but really, um, going from the, the building that I'm at to where you need to go, it's, it's literally like 20 seconds away, and... I was trying to grab this uh, this blast shard since um, I believe between the end of this mission and the next one I think I did some upgrades but I can't be a hundred percent positive um, oh no actually I, I do the upgrades during the boss fight so I would suggest don't if you don't do any last minute upgrades for like missiles or uh, uh, like video drain or something, uh, I would do it before the mission starts. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, spare Hank, and I'll see you in uh, the final mission.